It is safe to say that The Sims 4 is full of some absolutely horrendous, ugly, terrifying builds. In today's video, we're basically just gonna be rating every single shocking EA build that they have ever done. We can start with one of my least favorite builds from this entire game, which is the old Salt House Residential. Disgusting! If you look at it from the offset, this might seem like your most beautiful, serene, lovely looking um, warehouse housey house you've ever seen until you take a closer look firstly i just want to point out that they've got this balcony that you can't walk on and it's got the most ugly disgusting, disgusting horrible basic concrete that i've ever seen next up when we go inside i just want to say like for some reason some of this wall here is got like brickwork on it but then the other half it just cuts off and there's no real reason why and i don't know and then worse off if you go to the other side of the build here you can see the concrete cuts off here then we've got some random orange bricks and then it goes back to the painted wall even though there's no orange bricks anywhere else i have no idea how this has happened it looks absolutely terrible and then before we even go down into the living room i just want to say we have these magically floating lights and this is something that a lot of people do when they make these open ceilings they forget that you can't really put hanging lights in rooms where there's an open ceiling because it's not hanging on anything it's just floating in midair which looks absolutely ridiculous and then we go down into the actual living room area itself and Firstly, it's ugly concrete, which is absolutely terrible. We've got this weird looking furniture. It's an absolutely horrible color scheme, orange on yellows and reds and pinks. Next to just this bland space. It just looks so boring. And the dining room as well is just so empty and weird. And then we just got like this bright yellow, ugly looking kitchen. And to make it even worse, this house is so misplaced. This house came in a pack about living in a city, living in apartments, and we just got this random house over here that makes absolutely no sense. It would have much better served to be a cafe or a bar or something like that. That is why I'm gonna be giving this one a two out of five. Next up, I'm gonna go to Glimmerbrook and look at some of the most shocking, disgusting, disgusting houses you've ever seen. Let's just get into this first one right here, guys. I'm so excited to show you. If you ever think that you're bad at building in The Sims 4, don't worry, just look at this EA build and it'll perk up your confidence right up. Firstly, just looking at the front of this house, the window placements are absolutely absolutely horrendous. They just look so random, out of place. The wall heights are just so tall and we have this abnormally huge foundation here which just gives the house this really strange vibe. When we go into the back of the property, you can see that there's some stairs leading into a house here, but um, there's no door, so the stairs don't actually have any function. I have a feeling that originally they meant to put a door there, but then they decided against it or they forgot to put it in there or something like that. Who knows? And I don't know why they haven't just like updated the builds in this pack by making them look a bit better, but they seems like they haven't bothered doing it. The actual kitchen here doesn't look too bad. Like it's got all the main stuff that you need. It's just when you look in the other rooms, firstly, it is so dark in here. I've got the game set on the afternoon and it's still so dark. And this living room is so empty. We've literally got two chairs and a random coffee table. There's no sofa. There's literally nothing to do in here. It's just empty. And we've just got like this sound Sad looking dining room in here with this very inappropriately inappropriate in why is that so difficult to say? With his very inappropriately placed tapestry that does not match the vibe of the house. And this one, <laughs> this one makes me laugh. Why do we have bathrobes literally above the bath. They are just gonna get wet. Why would you put bathrobes directly above the bath? It literally makes no sense. If anybody has this in the house, please can you let me know why? <laughs> Then going upstairs again, we just have the most bland, empty rooms. Look at this single room here. It's just like a bed, a mirror, an empty shelf, and an empty dresser. They also tried to make the roof look a little bit interesting, so I am going to give them a two out of five for this one. Next up, we're going to the lovely University City of Brychester, where we're going to be looking at the god awful University Commons area. This is honestly the most horrendous. Let me just show you the full build first. It's just like a white box. It's so simple. It's just like a white rectangle and it's got like a triangular roof on it to try and make it look modern and hip. Like it's not 
looking great. And then when we get inside, as you can see, it is just so barren and empty. Like my soul. There's absolutely nothing going on in here. Even worse, when you come downstairs and we've literally just got like two tables, which are so awkwardly placed so far away from each other. We've got a TV here. How are you going to watch this TV from all the way over in these seats that I don't have any idea? And then we've just got one random ping pong table in the middle of the floor here. Like there's just too much space. They built some like random sofas here as well. I kind of guess why they're doing it because EA have this thing that they want to fulfill where they have to make sure all of their builds run on lower end PCs. So as a result, they make all of the builds so underly decorated and so overly simple. If it was me running The Sims 4, I would always make like two versions of every in-game build, like a low end PC version and a high end PC version. It just doesn't make any sense the way that they've gone about it. We have these two absolutely random robotic stations just randomly placed here. They're not in like a special part or anything. It's just all out in the open. We've got a chess table here. We've got some random tables, some computers and another couple computers, which looks like they came from the 90s. It's just so barren, underused, underdeveloped. <laughs> And do you know what? I think this is gonna be our first one out of five no, because it is that bad. Next up, the beautiful world of Dalsol Valley. We're gonna be looking at the iconic Judith Ward's house. Don't know who Judith Ward is. She's basically the celebrity of um, Sims 4 Get Famous. She's like the ultimate five-star platinum celebrity. Yet she lives in the most underwhelming mansion in the world. Oh, my game's lagging, which is absolutely great. Although guys, if you want a trick to deal with the lagging, if you open up the menu, and just close it again. The lagging stops. I don't know why, but it really helps. Anyway, can we just look at how awful this build is? It is so awful. Like I literally cannot even cope. It just looks so <laughs> guys, right? First, let's let's just start from left to right. Firstly, we've got this random ugly old wooden door for this apparent celebrity. She's supposed to be the richest, most famous sim in the world, yet she has these old ugly looking doors. She's got windows that look like bloody shop windows. We've got these peeping whatever they are windows here. The worst thing is this window here is like halfway up. I don't know what happened, but they just decided that they were going to put this window all the way up here. And then when we go into her mansion, it just looks so bare and empty. There's not really that much going on in here. It just looks like weirdly, it's giving me like Sims 1 vibes. It's just weirdly looking. I don't know how to explain it. Like if you're the richest person in the world, your house wouldn't be this empty. And like we've just got random things like downstairs we've got two bathrooms one of them is like black and gold the other one is white and gold I don't know really why we have two of them and the worst thing is again they're just so randomly barren and empty and I don't really know what stylistic vibe they were going for here we've again got this office <laughs> it's so oh my god guys it's so empty look at it it looks awful we then got another office on this side I don't know what they were thinking but they just obsessed with symmetry in this build and then we go upstairs and she's got the most absolutely tasteless tiger skin bedding, which is fair enough because she's that kind of five star celebrity. But again, we have this uh, random room here, which I don't really know what it is. We've got a vault here, but on the other side, we've got an art easel, but again, it's just totally empty. I just think the Sims team didn't really know what they were doing with this build. Like we've got this, it makes me laugh. Like we've got this incredible, like a balcony thingy here, which is really detailed. We've got the most amazing city view. And then they've just taken like this weirdly symmetrical metrical house which kind of looks like a hillbilly suburban house but just like leveled up hacker level hacker level suburban trash hillbilly house i'm gonna be giving this one a zero out of ten they've misplaced random things they haven't used windows correctly they haven't really given it any kind of structural integrity it just looks god awful the next up is going to be brindleton bay which has got some pretty cool places some of them are all right some of them are not i'm just going to go into a random one actually should we just go into the first one here and just judge it here right I haven't even guys do you know what this is my first time actually looking at the house and the house's name is called it's a good house and that's the name
name EA gave it, which um, is a little bit narcissistic, seeming that the pathway here is not so good. They've given it the most random, strangely curved pathway in the world. Why does it get really big here? And then it just gets smaller and then it just wraps around. I have no idea how this works. They've gone for like a barn kind of roof style, which is fair enough. They've given this absolutely tiny balcony, a humongous doorway out to it, which is very strange and questionable. To be fair, the actual house doesn't look too bad. Let's go inside and see what we can judge. So as with all of the Sims 4 builds, this looks pretty barren and empty and the lighting is also very bad. We've got some random underused space in the corner here. We've got a totally strangely long hallway here, which doesn't need to be this long. But um, do you know what? Overall, it's not too bad. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's good. Don't twist my words, but it's actually not the worst. I titled it a good house because they're probably very proud of this one. I'm not saying it is the best because trust me, it is not. However, it is not actually that bad for EA and um, and I'm going to be giving this one a 3.5 out of 5. If you know any more absolutely shocking Sims 4 builds that you think I haven't covered but I should, let me know down in the comment section below. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and of course subscribe if you haven't already so you can access some more absolutely chaotic, crazy and judgmental Sims 4 videos. Other than that, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.